It was definitely a long, cold winter out there this year, and we are looking straight ahead at the warmest weekend we've had so far this year. Let's take a look at today. It wasn't half bad, actually, depending on where you were, because here in the metro, we uh, bounced up to 57 degrees, actually, just briefly got to 57, kind of just kissed it and then went away because it was really a function of the sun coming out just for a little bit, you know, for like an hour or so. At times, we had a little bit of sunshine. It was this area where we had the sunshine, this area where we had clouds and persistent showers in Mason City, only 42 for the high. You can kind of see that with our HD visible satellite. You can see all the clouds up here through northwestern, north central Iowa, a few breaks in the clouds in southeast Iowa, and that April sun is pretty strong. It's the same strength as it is, say, back in August. That's the same type of sun angle and strength. Well, we've got the showers pretty much out of central Iowa. It looks like we will remain dry this evening, and even northern Iowa, those rain showers have pretty much dissipated, so the remainder of the night should be dry. Our 24-hour rain total showing that heaviest amount right there through Fort Dodge, Webster County, Calhoun County, seeing Hampton County, seeing a little bit of rainfall there along the Highway 20 corridor, and uh, that's where we've uh, had the reports coming in. Fort Dodge with almost an inch of rain over the last uh, couple of days. We haven't seen much. Thankfully, in central Iowa, not much at all, but I mean, nobody wants the rain right now. We don't need it for sure. Now, it's still cloudy out there, mostly cloudy, depending on where you are. 51 is our temperature. We got an east wind at 11 miles per hour. Pretty quiet, pretty cool, kind of a, a cloudy night ahead of us here, but uh, temperatures are going to warm up tomorrow. You know what happened this afternoon. Well, imagine if we have even more sunshine tomorrow afternoon and a southerly wind. That's what's going to happen. Temperatures will be in the mid-60s here, and it could even be warmer than 66 if we get enough sunshine. It all depends on the sunshine. Now, this weekend, we'll have a mix of sun, clouds, and even a few showers out there. There's a slight chance of rain Saturday in the morning and also towards Saturday night. The best Best chance of rain will be Sunday morning, and then it'll get nicer in the afternoon. Both days looking mild, close to 70 degrees. Here's our scenario right now. A lot of active weather out to the east of us here. Even had some severe weather down to the south today with some heavy rain, Louisiana. But it's going to be a quiet weather pattern here for at least a couple of days. We're going to see this bigger system coming off the California coastline. But what's happening out ahead of that, it is warming up with the jet stream being buckled up to the north. We are finally getting a big taste of warm spring weather here. And it will come with a few showers, as I said, but not that much rain, it looks like. So a few showers out there tonight. Those will be dissipating, and we will see a most Mostly cloudy sky with a little bit of fog possible. The clouds break up and we bring in some sunshine here. And there will be a chance of those showers developing up here uh, Saturday morning, but it looks like it'll be dry in the afternoon. For tonight, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, some fog possible low near 43. Tomorrow, 66 or better, partly cloudy skies and a nice afternoon for sure. Saturday and Sunday, close to 70. And look at Monday, sunshine 72 there. It's going to be a beautiful day. Now, things can't stay this way, unfortunately. We got a big change coming uh, next week. It looks like Wednesday, Thursday looks like a big storm developing in the Midwest. It looks like we'll have mostly rain here. Parts of the state, like northwest Iowa, could have some snow by Thursday. So, And it's going to be cooler for sure, so enjoy the weekend.